Good morning, everybody. Uh, I recently had a request from someone to show how I had done the strap alteration. Not really alteration, but what I had done to my um, Glenna hobo bag that I recently showed in a haul to um, take that shorter strap off and show just to show what I did with that and how I was um how I changed it to suit me a little better so I want to show that really quickly and then I'm also going to show you another little hack if you will I don't know if you want to call it a hack or just something I thought you all might find interesting so we're going to start with the Glenna Hobo and I'm going to show you what I did so when you initially get your Glenna Hobo, and this is the exact same for the factory style go ahead convertible crossbodies. When you initially get these bags, they come to you with the shorter strap attached. These rings don't open up. You just, it's fixed on there like this. So, what I've done, I've heard of people cutting the strap off, and that's, that breaks my soul, because you're, you're just ruining it. So, instead of cutting the strap off, what I do is I take a pair of very large, like, wire cutters, and I cut the ring instead of the strap, and then I replace it with one of the rings that have the quick release um, little thing on it. You can order these from Amazon for just a couple dollars. And I put that on there instead of the fixed ring so that I can just um, remove that strap instead of cutting it off and ruining it. That way you can just have your rings here and then you can easily remove that shorter strap if you don't want it and just add your longer strap and then you have a different length for your shoulder um, your shoulder drop or you can make it a crossbody and that's what i do with my glenna hobos that's what I do with my go-ahead convertible crossbodies. Any bag from Vera that I have purchased that has had a fixed shorter shoulder strap on it, like this one, instead of cutting the shoulder strap off, I cut the rings and replace those rings with quick release. And then you're not ruining your straps, you're not ruining any of the fabrics, and you can use it how you want to. Now I'm going to show you one more little trick that I found. Okay, so quite a while back, when Vera first released their Performance Twill material, I wanted to get something in it. Actually, I wanted a bag. I wanted to get a bag in the Performance Twill material. So I could see what it felt like, if I really liked it, all of that stuff, right? But it was really new, and so you couldn't find any kind of a good bargain on it anywhere. And I'm a tight ass, so I don't like to pay a lot of money for things. So I ran upon a listing. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was on one of the third-party sites. I can't remember if it was eBay, Mercari, Poshmark. I can't remember which one it was. But it was a listing for the large cosmetic in the strawberry ice color. I think it was called strawberry ice. And they wanted like $18 for it. And I kept looking and I was like, well, it's not a bag. and It's not really what I want, but it's cheap. It's a decent size, so I'll be able to really see what the material feels like, and I went ahead and ordered it. Now, up to this, up to that point, I did not have any of the large cosmetics because I didn't have a need for 
a pouch that was that big. But when it arrived, I started really, really looking at it. And I was like, you know what? This was a good, this was a good purchase. And I'm going to show you why. So, this is the large cosmetic. This is the strawberry ice color. And I'm going to show you, I do have this stuff. And what I have in here are three on a roll cases. There are two at the top here. And then there's another one down at the bottom. So, this is completely stuck. And when it arrived, what I noticed was that it has these little tabs on each side. And this is a really good size bag. It's got a really decent depth on it. It has an outside pocket. So, my trusty dusty little rings from Amazon... So, you go in, you put a ring through each loop, and I'm going to tell you right now that these loops are placed a little below the halfway mark on this cosmetic, so you do have to be careful in how you do this. This is just a strap off of another one of my bags, not ideally what I would match with this, but. and put it on there and voila you have a little shoulder bag out of your large cosmetic that is a super decent size has an exterior pocket and a really good capacity will sit up on its own or you adjust this strap out maybe there we go you put those through there and you have a, a crossbody out of your large cosmetic this is what it would look like just hanging to the side however you want to carry it So, these large cosmetics, I think, run around 40-ish dollars, unless you catch them on sale. <laughs> I just scared the hell out of myself. I thought I missed my seat. Okay, so, the large cosmetics run around 40-ish dollars. I think the cheapest decently sized crossbody that Vera has starts at 60 so just saying you might be able to save a little bit of money and make yourself your own crossbody out of an existing strap you already have and a large cosmetic bye guys